What's going on, FMF family? We're on phase D. It's Tuesday. Speed and agility focus. Uh, we're going to go over the coaching points right now. So first exercise up today is going to be hip axles. Hip axles is a great dynamic exercise. I know if you guys are in track or if any of you guys have been involved or see track, um, you'll, you'll, and, and anything that's talking about speed, you'll talk about hip mobility, more specifically dynamic. Um, you know, when we're talking about that, it, it has to do with a lot of the, you'll see the exercise they'll use is hurdles. Um, they'll go over the hurdles, step backwards. Hip axles are very similar, really tax the hip flexor, opens it up dynamically, learns to work around that hip labrum. So it's, it's, a, it's a really helpful exercise. So we put these down for the first one up, really working on opening those hips up and a hip mobility. So really, really important. Now, coaching point on the exercise itself for hip axle, don't lean. So you don't want to lift that leg up and then lean your body over. Try to keep your torso upright. Um, that's a really important point of it. Uh, single leg knee drive to B skip is going to be six sets, 10 yards. Uh, hip axles is three by eight each side, by the way. Three by eight each side. So that's three sets, eight each side. Uh, hip ax or single leg knee drive to B skip is number two. That's going to be six by 10 yards. So that's three sets per side. Okay, three sets per side. Make sure you guys are shoes off on this one. Remember the key biggest keys on this. Arm action's got to be crucial. It's got to be critical, crucial, big, powerful movement. Okay, and then on the skips for the B skip as well as the single leg knee drive, make sure that foot always kind of replaces directly under the hip. Don't overreach and then have your foot go in front of you because that becomes a braking force for your speed acceleration. This is acceleration mechanic drill, so make sure that foot snaps down directly underneath you. Okay, drop in sprints. Uh, again, second week of these, really, really helpful or second phase. Um, drop in, really focus the detail is to drop off, okay, hit, absorb on that one side, and then explode out from there. That's a really, really, really important one. Um, it's a detail that can be missed. If you don't if you don't focus on that detail or you really put all that weight on that side, you're missing the point of the drop-in sprint. Don't just step off and then go. Think about it almost like I'm hopping off, okay, and then right when I hit that leg, I'm going to absorb out. Big knee drive, big arm action, ball of foot, strong ankle, and explode. Okay, so drop-in sprints is 4 by 10 so 4 by 10 yards. Okay, so they got four of those. Then you got Pro Agility Shuttle, change of direction drill. Okay, closed, it's a closed agility drill. 5-10-5 drill is, is also a Pro Agility, what you'll know. Uh, it's basically, you'll have three cones, one in the middle, five yards apart, five yards apart. Right, explode, 5, 10, and then go five back. Okay, make sure when you're hitting those turns, Try to already have your hips rotated around. Don't overreach. The biggest mistake people make on the Pro Agility Shuttle is when they go to break down, they take a big reach where their hand reaches all the way across. We do not want to do that. Okay, Drop your feet drop, or drop your hips. Fire your feet. But make sure your hips have already turned so when you hit that line, you're almost in a 40 position, 40 start to explode out in a straight linear sprint. Okay, So make sure you guys are quick on that. Again, don't be slipping everywhere. That's not a good. That's not a good trait to have. Uh, we have eight pro agility shuttles. Number five, fly to sprint. Four sets, 15 to 15. Okay, we're building back, uh, working into a 30-yard complex. But that fly to sprint, remember, is all about power, but max velocity. Open up those hips. Okay, so again, build up for that zero to 15. At that 15 yard, you got to be explosive, full speed. Go 15 yard at a full sprint. Sprint three by 30. Okay, really simple. Compete, compete, compete. Do not be afraid to rest. Three sets, 30 reps. Give it your all. Make sure you stay efficient. Your mechanics should be perfect as well on that sprint. Plank complex, last one. Again, second uh, phase we did this. But again, it's great. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So maintain lidorsis, maintain straight posture. Side plank, plank, side plank. Biggest, most important thing is that you don't drop your knees to the ground. Try to maintain so you're actually holding that, locking that core in for 90. Remember, the core is all about stability, okay, and power transfer. So sometimes we think because we're so used to those crunches or abs that we think, oh, that's the core. The core is not. The core is actually meant for well, rotationary, uh, yes, but it's really a stability, okay, and, and transferring power around, so maintaining that coordination. Again, phase D, all right, we're on speed agility. This is Tuesday. Speed agility, what a day to get faster.